What's going on guys, Switchbrew here and welcome back to the second episode of the PK Hex series. So today what I'm going to be showing you is how to edit items in your inventory or add items that you don't already have. So the first thing you'll need to do is open up the PK Hex software like so. Links will be provided for the following program in the description. What you want to do then is head over to file open and you want to open up your game save that we backed up yesterday or on the previous video should i say so you want to head over to the file that's called main and open this up you then want to head over to the section here what says sav and you then want to go into items so guys these are the current items that i've got in my bag um i've not played the game that much so as you can see it's quite a small amount of items within my bag so for example if i want to edit the potion here all you have to do is because you've currently got this item in your bag is change the eight for example to 999 and click save and that's now done if i go back to items now as you can see it's still saved as 999 so guys if you want to add an item that you don't already have for example i want 999 master balls you've got different sections along your inventory here you've got balls you've got battle items you've got berries you've got items you've got tms and hms you have got treasure you have got ingredients you have got key items and candy so for example i want to add 999 master balls so if you go to the ball section and go to a blank section here that says none and you want to drop down the list or you can type in m and it should come up as master ball so if i go to here to master ball change this to 999 what you also want to do is because you don't already you don't already have this item you want to check the new box here and then go ahead and click save if i go back to my items now and go back to the pokeball section as you can see you've got 999 master balls uh, another item I'm, I'm going to add is rare candies so if i go to the item section at the top and drop down the menu here or you can eat type in r and it should pop up as rare candy but i'll just scroll down and find it for you guys just bear with me a second in fact i'm just going to click the r button because it's going to make it 10 times easier so as you can see there guys rare candy what again what you want to do is change it to the value that you want so i'm going to change mine to 999 you then again want to tick the new box because you haven't already got one in your bag so what you want to do then is click the save button so if i go back to items now guys as you can see potions are set to 999 if i go back to the ball section you've got master balls set to 999 with the box checked under new and then if i go across to the item section as you can see again rare candies 999 and the new button is checked what i'm going to do is go ahead and click save again so guys now that that's done what we'll do is we'll switch over to the nintendo switch console and i'll show you guys what to do from there what's going on guys sorry about that before switching back onto your nintendo switch console what you want to do is you'll want to mount your sd card back to your computer because we need to put the new modified game save back onto the nintendo switch console so once you've edited your items like we did earlier uh, what you'll want to do is then go to file you want to go to export sav you want to i'm going to choose desktop click save so because obviously we backed up our save on the previous video and i saved it to my desktop it's going to ask me if i want to replace the current file what i'm going to do is go ahead and click yes and as you can see it says save exported to my desktop correctly so what i'm going to do now is click ok and then go to close down the program uh, i have mounted my switches sd card to the computer you can mount either your switch through hecate or take out your sd card and plug it into the computer so what i'm going to do now guys is open this up as you can see and then i'm going to head over to the switch folder i'm going to go into edison i'm going to go into saves my current save into this folder here where the original main file is and then going to copy the new modified main file into there if it asks if you want to replace it go ahead and click replace the file destination 
So guys, now that's completed, what we can do is put the SD card back into the Nintendo Switch and we can go from there. So I'll meet you guys on the Nintendo Switch for further instructions. So guys, once we're back over on the Nintendo Switch console, what you want to do is first head over to Albums. Once you're in your albums, guys, you want to go across to Edison. Once Edison is loaded, what you want to do is go down to the game that you're working on. If it asks you to sign into your profile, you want to do that. So, guys, as you can see, once you get to this screen, what you want to do is go ahead and click the Y button to restore the game save. It's going to come up with this following file here, which is the game save. You want to go ahead and click the a button to restore it'll say are you sure you want to inject this back up just click yes and as you can see in the bottom left hand corner it says successfully restored backup so guys what i'm going to do now is fast forward the video so we can get into the game of pokemon and we'll go from there so guys as you can see we're on pokemon now so what i'm going to do is go ahead and click a just let the game load should hopefully only take a few minutes what i might do is fast forward this if it takes longer than predicted and then we'll go from there so guys as you can see pokemon has now loaded so what i'm going to do is go ahead and click the plus button sorry guys it's not the plus button it's the x button you can tell i haven't played this game very much go ahead and go to bag and as you can see guys now there we've got 999 potions if i scroll across we've got 999 master balls and if i go across to items we have got the 999 rare candies so yeah that's it for this episode guys next episode i'll be showing you how to deal with adding pokemon to your uh, party and i'll also be showing you how to get shiny pokemon etc so thanks for watching the video guys peace